What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another yeah. week and another uh. episode of the Leong Leong, the professional, the pro professional. wrestling, wrestling. wrestling. Podcast. The podcast bang. that spits in the face of SEO every week. It mm, says, wow. I dare you to find this podcast. <laughs> dare you. I fucking dare you. Yeah. <laughs> we can't be Google. We're too cool. We're too, cool we're, to too we're, you know, we're just too, we're too authentic. Yeah. We're, we're, we're that cool underground. We're that hip shit. Yeah. We're like we're the uh we're the Eddie Kingstons of this shit, just yeah. begrudgingly dragging our belts around. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the ring light? Come on, what are we Scorsese over here? Come on, get real. Um, <laughs> What's with the fucking ring light every time? Um, Eddie, this is film for television. Anyway, uh, well, we watched the hell of a show this weekend, everybody. And uh, wait, hold up, my bad. Well, it's, I'm Lawson Leong. This is Katie Rose Leong. We got a special guest with us this week. Because <laughs> it was such a big show that yeah. it cannot be can handled just between me and Lawson no. because we would just become an echo chamber yeah. <laughs> immediately. Yeah. So we needed to bring some other people. Did in. you see that shit Takeshi did, Katie? That was a good <laughs> show. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's he gonna... did, he flipped off of his chest like a it was thing. crazy. That's still going to be about a quarter of the show. Um, yeah, so, but... yeah, stay tuned for that. But we also have Hannah Harkness up top over here. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me from the Paywalled Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. You know the me. The very same. <laughs> you the very same. same. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh -huh. duel um, It is, the in heart fact, time to. of the cards. The heart of the sport. Of professional mm -hmm. wrestling. It's all about. Mm -hmm. I've made. Mm -hmm. I got there. All right. It's all about how. Hell yeah. And first time guest on the show, Sean Tragedy, the very, the one and only, the my, man, the legend, the legend, my social media manager. Who, thank God, because I can't be on that shit anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. I was just gonna say, Sean, it's such a delight to have someone who uses the internet here because Lawson and I <laughs> cannot no be mas. bothered. No mas. Oh, uh, I, I am no, I, I'm. My brain is poisoned. So it's, it's okay. This man's incredibly online. <laughs> He's relaying to me all the bad Twitter takes. Um, mm -hmm. it's and then the you give them good. to me. <laughs> it's like Sometimes. a, it's like a, a game of telephone. <laughs> I, I. <laughs> Yeah. Or a human centipede of uh, drama, if you will. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Listen, Did that puts mean... me all the way at the end of the butt, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. That's fine. It's just drama. You're not inhaling poop. You know, don't worry about it. It's a type of waste. It's a type of waste. And you get to it fart is. it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Truly. As Cody Rose once said, Daddy eats first. Guys, we're here Yo. to talk about AW Revolution. Um... Revolution 2024, the revolution was televised, but Ricky Starks was not on it. Uh, we had a hell oh, of a show true. here. <laughs> that is true. Oh, his contract. What do you mean, his contract? Uh, Tony, TK, no sold questions about Ricky Starks in the scrum. But that's not what we're here to talk about yet. Uh, what? <laughs> TK, is Ricky Starks under contract? Yeah, next question. Um, so, <laughs> uh, we can start off with the main event, as we like to do. On these big shows, yeah, we like to we like to work our way backwards. Our yeah. So as we know, main event of AEW Revolution was Sting's retirement match yeah. with Sting and Darby Allen, uh, accompanied by Ric Flair and uh, Ricky Steamboat, defeated uh, Nicholas and Matthew Jackson by submission. They made those good Christian boys tap out. I I will say you keep saying those good Christian boys, but they looked especially like shucking and jiving fucking evangelical <laughs> preachers in those vests. I gotta yeah. say, like, yeah. oh boy, did they! Uh, not only accompanied by those legends, but uh, accompanied by Sting's uh, own sons, who were dressed like him who, from the past. They look so much like them that they should start a drag show. Like I'm like. <laughs> The I would pay to see practically things. is a drag show. Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, I would pay to see them dressed up as their dad in various eras and like lip singing share songs. Yeah. I mean, the one kid was really throwing himself into those stinger splashes. Uh 
the one with the I appreciate the it. He was really going for it. Um Oh, he was jumping so high. Yeah. From so far across the ring. So So Darby's Are alive. we gonna talk about it? Uh how Dar- <laughs> whether or not Darby's alive. As far as I know, he's still alive. Um so he uh here you, you want some stats real quick? Sure, yes, twelve stitches, oh. I think, but go uh, ahead, Sean. Yeah, yeah okay. let's go count. <laughs> Uh, basically, it as as crazy as the bump look, twelve stitches. Twelve okay. stitches. Wow, <laughs> Sean, you, you I think... have a question. <laughs> yes. W- was that real glass, bitch? <laughs> so... Definitely real glass, and people had to cry a river about it. <laughs> wow. I. I oh I hate that so much. It's mm-hmm. like I respect Sting. I hate I hate the real glass. It really mm-hmm. makes me angry with this company on so many levels. Um in, in the scrum, Sting said this was one of the top three matches of his entire career. That's the but thing, I wish like Darby it's... didn't almost die. <laughs> he even mm-hmm. Sting was like, I still wish he didn't almost die. That's the one thing I probably would have changed. <laughs> Ding is legendary for many reasons, but one of the things that sticks out the most for me is that he's had this career for as long as he is. You know, he's one of the last of this kind of guy, and nobody has anything bad to say about him. Which is so for you, Sting, for my uncanceled king, fine. Real glass this one time. But Tony, I swear to fucking God, if I see real glass on this show one more time, I'm gonna come down and white lady all over your production, okay? <laughs> These little young boys are going through real glass. Let's put Deathmatch carry. Boys. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, excuse me, this is unsafe working conditions for my yeah. sons. <laughs> Uh, Hook and Jungle Boy. Get all the hot boys. Put them all through glass. Put all the hot boys through the glass. No! Takashi is next. Let's put Takashi no! face first no. through the glass. Why not? Fuck it. What could go wrong? Um, but I'm sorry. Let's talk about the match. I just had to get all those feelings out. No, it's very bad. Yeah. Darby shoulder. They, they could have done fake glass. There's lots of fake glass out yeah. there. There's lots of perfectly good fake glass. They've been yeah. throwing people through windows in movies for yeah. decades. Yeah. Also, yeah. Darby was out here with his death wish you could have done a flip off the balcony you could have rolled in some thumbtacks you could have taken a light tube a toilet seat anything but real glass bro <laughs> yeah like yeah 20 feet height yeah i mean hannah smashed Manel with uh a bottle in our movie Plus. yeah it was not um, real it was yeah. not a real bottle but it looked great we had to do it twice because <laughs> yeah. Manel forgot to sell the first time I'm not we would have done him. it three times but i dropped the first prop bottle <laughs> i forgot about that also we did have three of them uh, we did have three of them. Okay. It was I didn't we really drop it. It's that though. the way I it, the 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 way I wrote it because this is my fault really in an abstract way. The way I wrote it is that I stuck the bottle between them and went here, hold this. And the first time I did that, I fucked it up, <laughs> and it just I was like here, hold this, and it was a. Like, it yeah. added such a drama to the filming though, and we did nail it the second. <laughs> time. So, oh yeah, no, we nailed it the other two times. <laughs> yeah, we actually nailed the first thing too, which is that Benel forgot to sell, but uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which kind of looked awesome because you smashed him and he just didn't react. It was also kind of funny. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so let's get into the match itself. Um, I want to say out front I... that we all love Sting. And I think we yeah. can all agree this was a beautiful way to send this man off into the sunset. Many feelings were had. Absolutely. Um, I'm there not were so many <laughs> grown men yeah. weeping yes. in that audience and i think that says it all he was the best adult. ad for men crying honestly aw has always been the best <laughs> ad for men crying and hugging men Meditation. love to cry and hug on aw they talk about mental Absolutely. illness it's incredible <laughs> it's the antidote to toxic masculinity we had a he's gay chant that was positive i yeah i got white woman the, the world I got a little. <laughs> I was a little emotional at the beginning, where they have him in like the movie theater by himself, watching a clip show of his like career. I yeah. thought that was minus really well WWE done. footage. Right. Well, well, you yeah. know, it is what it is. Yeah, it is, what it is. Uh, <laughs> I love that Nick and Matt were just Shawn Michael bumping the shit out of themselves they were for this match. Like crazy. And I, I saw. Boy, but... 
Yeah. I that's the why I love the Bucks. Like I saw Nick throw himself Yeah. <laughs> so high in the air. I'm like, great. I I love this. And then yeah. especially cuz Darby died. Uh and I don't know. It just felt really special. The only complaint I have is that they didn't pay for the extra like five minutes of airtime, and we all had to go Google his like farewell on speech the afterwards. I think yeah. they're doing that on purpose because I think Tony wants to have YouTube content as well for stuff like this. But you're right; it would have been nice to catch it on the pay per view. Honestly, don't think so. I honestly think it was just you know they were caught up. Well, in the I, and... I, I, I will add it was uh... midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, it was a uh, midnight, but also it's a uh, since it's homage to Sting, who is a w- WCW uh, original. They did the most WCW thing, cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> they did. That's a great uh-huh. point. John. That's an excellent point. Yeah, that is true. I will say too. I so I went and watched the rest of it, and it was the first time I ever found Darby funny and charming when he just goes like, all right, I got to go to the hospital now. And there's like a genuine truckle. I'm like, well, where has this guy been for the last three years? Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> he definitely had to go to the He hospital. went through the looking glass. This is a new timeline now. <laughs> yeah. He, Yo. A new Darby landed uh, on that floor than the one that jumped off the mm-hmm. ladder. Um, Which is why he's not dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lore uh, pipe. Yeah, that part but of so his many people was holding him back. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. so many people in the audience. Like it was just a cool moment to see on TV. I you mean, know. outside of Ric Flair at WrestleMania, this was the greatest. And Ric Flair had ruined it by coming back four more times. This was like the greatest, uh, <laughs> and among yeah. other things. But <laughs> this was the greatest well, I, I, uh... legend that we've ever seen. I feel like in wrestling, I don't. I can't yeah, think of and it's one, definitely. So. An end of an era of a certain kind of guy. Like, this is yeah. it. He's the last one, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, speak, uh, speaking, uh, speaking of audience, I'll go ahead and give you the uh, the stats for that. So, yeah. completely sold out. Yep. Uh, it was set up for uh, 16,130 tickets. They end up filling the, uh, packing up to 16,876 people. Yep. Big fan of the cat. The crap. Yeah. The crowd seemed lit the whole time too, which they were was great. cool. They were great. Greensboro really brought it. They were they were a great crowd. Um, yeah, I think Tony was saying the scrum was like the second or third big. I mean, I was like third biggest crowd they had. Maybe it was like it's Wembley mm. and then the New York shows, and then this. I want to say something like that. Um, and I'm sure it did a big gangbusters pay per view number. Honestly, Feather in the Hat for Sting too is going on his career like a gigantic draw. <laughs> So with a 12 12 and 0 run. So sing yeah. we salute you. Yeah. God bless. Um bumping harder than his sons and he's like what 70? Like yeah. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was beautiful pro wrestling at its best. And you know what I want to say also? We all love Sting, but I, I want to point out it's a bad week if you hate the Young Bucks. <laughs> if you're a Young <laughs> Bucks hater, this ain't the week for you. Give it a couple weeks cuz these boys not only They're on. another feather in their cap for the greatest tag team of all time, I'm just going to say it. Uh, I'm not saying FTR couldn't have also done this. I'm not saying that. No, but, but I am saying the young Bucks that. They're, they're not <laughs> hateable enough. Yeah. yeah. Because the Young Bucks, the young bucks are willing like to be guys. squirming. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. They're willing to be those little wormy guys for him to just like beat up triumphantly. Yeah. Sting kicked out every, all of their moves and killed them both, and it ruled... Yeah. And Darby went into shock on the second turnbuckle. We watch it happen. <laughs> we watch Darby get on the second turnbuckle <laughs> and go into physical shock. But uh, yeah, it was just a beautiful pro wrestling, honestly. And I'm, I, if you say anything bad about this, you're 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 no fun. You're just not a fun person. You're just a hater. You're just being you're a, just hater. a hater. I'm looking, yeah, I mean, so that was that. And what was uh, what led into this? What was the other match? We have well, we have our three-way match for the AEW World Championship. Samoa Joe defeats Hangman Adam Page and Swerve Strickland. And I heard Lawson cheering all the way across Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Samoa retains. Goat. <laughs> yes. He choked out the hanger. My favorite wrestler. But also, he's crazy now. Um, 
He crazy. I, crazy. I am so down for unhinged Adam Page. I want him His to come out were... to, like, really unhinged music. He beat up two different refs. He beat up My... Bryce. I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. I know. <laughs> Bryce be taking number. bumps. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, my only complaint is I think the funner way to have done this would have been either Swerve was about to have it and Hangman fucks it up for him, or he gives a speech that he tapped out because he'd rather Joe retain than Swerve get the win. Happen. Although, I who knows what it. happens tomorrow? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what I want. I think we might um, I think we might hear that from the hangar, yeah. I don't love babyface swerve, but I'll take it, you know. He's, I mean, he hasn't changed the way he behaves at all. But he's oh. cheered by everyone <laughs> cuz he's so cool. Yeah, but he got emotional when he lost. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. And he didn't As accept the thingy. He didn't accept the brass knuckle the or whatever the fuck that was. Yeah. That's a good point. You make a good point. Yeah. But Han Hannah is right that this is the show for men to feel in a safe space. <laughs> it's <So>. true. <laughs> it is very true. Um, yes, uh, it's pretty much the ending I thought of. Ex I kind of expected, but you're right. We'll hear from Hanger this week. Sean, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah. Um, no, I. I would say like I, I would have like a. Uh, it was kind of. It was going to be hard to follow like the match that came before that. Yes. And uh. <laughs> And Joe, Joe, uh, and Joe, Joe, trying to fit into a three-way at this time in his career is is kind of a uh, sort of a little weird. Like he left it up to uh, Hangman and the Swerve to do most of the work. Yeah. But uh, but like he didn't need to do he he didn't need to do the work. He's he's Samoa Joe. That's true. Yeah. I thought it worked for how he's playing his character right now too. Yeah, I agree. Um... Like if this was. A different kind of setup i think i'd be annoyed by that but i think just because his whole thing is like i'm gonna let you two kill each other and then i should he's basically playing like the way i play smash brothers where i just hang on the edge and let <laughs> wait for everyone to kill each other and then Hell i yeah. show up yeah AEW <laughs> is smash brothers it's just tony khan playing with human beings but you know <laughs> yeah essentially yeah <laughs> yeah survival da -da -da -da. For me, mm -hmm. I play Pikachu. I stand on the edge and hit down B if you get close to me. <laughs> so, mm. Don't get close mm. to me. I'll zap you. <laughs> um, mm. I'm not going to mm. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how <laughs> I'm not good at Smash Brothers. Uh, but uh, I can't not get ring-outed. See, I'm good at fighting games, but I can Ring-outs? I can't not get ring-outed. It's well, so Smash hard. Brothers is in a, a fighting game. It, it's, it's a ring something game. else. Yeah, it's, it's about territory. <laughs> It's about drive, yeah. it's about power. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, I like this match. Uh, here's the thing. The Bucks lost. Hanger lost. Could we be getting the Dark Elite? Could they all go insane now? After But the thing is, vanquished? I kind of would rather, because we have floated this idea, and I think that could be fun, but I almost want Hangman to just go totally psychotic and just be, like, running around the rafters and stuff like that. Completely and just, like, rogue. beating, like... Yeah, I, I think he just needs to go totally nutso on his own, you yeah. know? I the mustache just keeps, keeps getting bigger. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. he's gonna be looking like Sam Elliott by next <laughs> month, okay? Yeah. I want that he needs yeah. the hat. He needs uh, the hat. The Sam Elliott hat mm -hmm. that comes out. <laughs> Absolutely. Just cutting promos about how the, the world's changed. It ain't what it used to be. <laughs> I've seen the world change. Ain't what it once was. I had a daughter. Yeah. Anyway, uh so completely changes political <laughs> views on the internet, becomes a libertarian edgelord. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I buried my gold somewhere here in Wembley Stadium and none of you will find it. And none of you are gonna find it. My daughter died of malaria in eighteen forty six. Um <laughs> yeah, he he's he's losing it. Uh so uh Okada's coming through. I have to mention this here because Samoa Joe, as we know, is soon gonna be off filming uh what what is it? Twisted Metal? Um 
You know who I, okay, so my partner brought this up, and I wonder what you guys feel about it. I don't think it's going to be Hangman. I think Okada's going to be the Bucks heavy when he shows up. Interesting. I um, at, least that's, at least I think that would be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want I want evil smug Okada. And like they have a working relationship. It's like the not boys. impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well there there's there's levels. There's there is levels. So like the if you go back to the Bucks uh in, uh entrance uh entrance ramp gear, they're wearing robes. Right, so. yes, they were wearing the Okada robe. They were. Not impossible. I mean, Okada's going to come in as a big baby face, however, plans change. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can do what you like once you get him, TK. So. Well, and my my whole theory with Okada coming to AEW is that it's not money. He just wants to do silly Western-style wrestling with his friends. I mean, <laughs> it's got to be a little bit money because the, it's the a little bit money yen, the is, yen down. is destroyed, but yeah. He's, but, yeah. he's, he's <laughs> him and his his wife are they're both wealthy so yeah um, yeah but I think uh, yeah that's an interesting t- yeah I would not hate it definitely wouldn't hate it um, that's like my fantasy booking anyway yeah I think it'd be a lot of fun <laughs> uh so the match we get to now here was <laughs> something else uh, okay maybe, yeah. we're gonna talk about it Will Osprey versus Takeshita. Um, I screamed, I cried, <laughs> I clapped. I usually fuck around on my phone during these things. I was watching the whole time. Match of the year, I guess. Maybe match of the lifetime. I don't know. I believe in pro wrestling. I believe in love again. I don't know. Like, I fuck, I'm like forever changed, but like in a good way. Not like when Hangman drunk swerves blood. Like, I couldn't <laughs> believe how good this was. I already, we already know how good Will is, but I thought he brought Takeshita to a next level. I, I, I can't believe some of the things I saw with my human eyes during this match. And that's how I feel. Anyway. Yeah. The rest of you. Go on. (laughs) I mean, I I thought it was all right. No, I'm fucking with you. No, (laughs) this match fucking ruled. I, this match fucking ruled. It was everything you said. And I... It was a Japanese-style match. I couldn't yeah. believe it. This was the greatest debut of any wrestler in history. <laughs> Will Ospreay showing up at AEW... True. ...and doing this shit was like... First of all, his entrance, the man comes out. The, 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 the music goes, remember the sound, pause. Yeah. Osprey, Osprey, all the crowd, every, all three sides. Osprey. He Cheering takes his for jacket him. off. It's fucking and on. that. His gear is amazing. I don't yeah. understand why Kenny got depressed when he moved to America and stopped wearing Japanese gear, but that's like a whole other problem. He's probably going through a lot of things, leaving his yeah Dakota behind and all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, you know, um, Kenny loves Japan too. Not Will also did, yeah. but it's different. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah, Will's here to be. I I could see in the scrum too the energy that he had. This man is here to be. A fucking crossover megastar. And he yep, fucking I... might be. He might be the biggest star in AW. <laughs> I can't well it done. believe the athleticism in this match. I'm sorry to keep bringing it up, but like, no, I, I, yeah. I've been watching no, wrestling yelled. for a minute now and I couldn't physically believe it. <laughs> yeah. The mm-hmm. pace these guys. So much had. yelling. Yes. I had a person with me that doesn't watch wrestling. I had one of those things happening and they they were commenting on how crazy this was, you know. Yeah. Uh I you know, I, and also I was being annoying like, "Oh my god, we have to you did, look out look at, look at the fucking thing." I saw he, yeah, that lower back bump uh I, that was a spot. yell that I I pretty sure I yelled super loud on that. <laughs> so... We were like, and D- Lawson on the stream, you were just like and Will Ospreay wrestled one match in AEW like <laughs> I said in real time, <laughs> Will Ospreay yeah. had, uh, wrestled one match before his life left his mortal coil. He is deceased. Please inform Alex Windsor and her son about <laughs> they're now bruv. he was a father he was a husband uh, or boyfriend he was a know. bruv he was a bruv that <laughs> like not to be corny mango. yes but there was like holds and moves in this 
that I felt like I was watching ballet. It was so meticulous. Like, yeah. I could not mm -hmm. believe it. <laughs> so, I... Yeah, there's a crazy sequence in here. So the Brain Buster, let's talk about the Brain Buster. So Kanosuke Takesha, for those who may not know, his first match of his entire life, when he was like 18, he wrestled El Generico. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, and El Generico Brain Bustered that boy in a turnbuckle and killed him when he was 18. And he never forgot mm -hmm. this. <laughs> no. And so to this day, in his big matches, he will Brain Buster a man on the turnbuckle. But he didn't do it. Which is... The crazy to that watch. outway. Yeah, he did it no. facing inward. So he brain busted Will all the way to the floor. His back hit the top turnbuckle. You could see the bruise afterwards. That shit was real. Crazy. And that shit was wild. He continued. I watched this mm -hmm. match twice now. Will wrestles for another 12 minutes after this. After that happens. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that started when it picked up, too. It was just like, you're, you're like, yeah. they, uh, they yeah. basically, they, they pop, they they pop, you know they they started the engine pop you know popped into second gear and just kept on going. <laughs> yeah, to put a perspective. There were three sequences in this that I was like, "There's no way you can do anything else after that." And then they continued to do something after it. Like I yeah. couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like just one of those sequences alone, I'd be like, "Match of the year." But then they did three of them. Right. I, I and they each lasted like several minutes. I couldn't. <laughs> believe it yeah uh the just a bit of perspective these guys warming up two minutes in Takeshi just superplexed him and that was like a war that was them warming up that was, was like a, a two up. minute into the match <laughs> later on there's a spot where wild osprey goes for the os cutter and Takeshi catches him beautifully into a blue thunder bomb and when i say you have to watch this move this was the best wrestling counter Maybe ever. <laughs> this is, the way he it caught went... full Will Ospreay. He's not a junior heavyweight anymore. This man is a brick no. shit house British bruv. And Takeshita catches him like a baby out of the air. One motion swings him into the Blue Thunder Bomb. It I... was... You couldn't do it better if you tried 99 times. <laughs> it was it crazy. Um, there was that sequence when Will f literally kicks off of Takeshita's abs to yeah. flip himself yeah, he over. Does the, the yeah, I was spot like, on his body. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> like, yeah. I was mm -hmm. like, yeah. I, it, it, so it, it impresses things. me every time he does it. And also, yeah. like, if I show him uh, his match to somebody, I'm like, you have to wait for the part where he walks up the other guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's that's the thing. Like, if I show a non wrestling fan a Will Ospreay match, I'm just like, wait, wait, wait hold on. He hasn't walked up the other guy yet. So like, there's there's a Jackie Chan movie. <laughs> Uh, I'll keep this tangent short, because me and Jackie Chan, you know how it be. Uh, 1985, called Heart of Dragon, where the, the climax oh, yeah. of this fight <laughs> is Jackie Chan runs up a wall and then kicks a guy. Right. And that's the climax yes. of this fight. Jackie Chan, he did this, now they filmed this, it's Jackie Chan, probably like 20 times, <laughs> and run up the wall. Right. Well, that's where he does this spot, first take, Live. on a human Once. being in motion, <laughs> not a wall. A human being, by the way, you know how stunt work is. They check this wall to make sure it's doable <laughs> before they do it. Yeah. Well, Osprey's doing this off of human beings on the first try in mid motion, and he does it like every match. <laughs> and he's fucking huge. He's like twice Jackie's size at this point. Like he's fucking. It's jacked. crazy. Like, They're he's... both built. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe this. Yeah. I want to see them fight forever. I want a this long will be a pay main story. Event at some point. This will be a pay per view main event at some point. Um, Absolutely, and I do like that they seem to be doing a, a longer term story with this because I yeah. thought o Osprey was going to immediately turn on Don Cal's family that night, but he, Kyle Fletcher came out and he's like, "Hello, I figured out my hey. my visa issue," and they hugged. I'm the second. I Kyle like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of him staying in the Don Callis family because I would rather listen to Don Callis talk than Will Osprey talk by like a thousand fucking miles. Uh, <laughs> Will, Will, is... Will, Will, Will wow. Osprey it, it has the most inverse proportionate of how much I like watching him wrestle versus how much I like listening to him talk. Wow. Like I the, get that it. Is the the valley is the Grand Canyon there. Like it's. He's a, it... He's yeah. got a little too much golden retriever energy where it's like well meaning, but he's still clumsy. But I think he'll get there Bruv. now that he's yeah, yeah. I think he's over in <laughs> nowadays like in a country where more people are paying attention to that part of things, I think. Um 
he'll probably yeah better. he could uh, he could get better i don't yeah. know it also might be an irrational thing i don't know that's one of those things where i'm like i don't like his like it's like i don't like to, to, to listen to tom hanks when he's not doing an accent either like i mean it's this could just be me <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna say i have some bad news for you hand i think he's leaving this family pretty soon so i, <laughs> I apologize but i think it's happening uh so, too bad okay yeah. <laughs> um I also want to point out, uh, Sean shared this from me. Uh, I meant to share it with you guys as well before this, but it was the tweet about who Tony Khan is looking for the his future aces, basically. Um, mm. And I thought the names were very interesting. I'm bringing it up for this match specifically because the names he wrote down were uh, Daniel Garcia, uh, okay. Hangman Page, Swerve Strickland, mm-hmm. Osprey, and Kanosuke Takeshita. Were the five names I, that he's like looking at the future to build around future. I believe the word was future long term plans to build around. So, I mean, I wouldn't argue with any of that. There's just nope. one name that's missing. I thought the same thing, Katie. There was a Jay name White. Missing. Oh, that's not actually what I was thinking of. But also, yes. Oh, Okada. <laughs> also, well, but yeah, that's even <laughs> someone even even younger. Oh, who? MJF. <laughs> All right. Where did he go? Suspicious by his absence. Now, uh, let me say this. Let me say this. I, because I don't want to fan the... Uh, listen. We might be... We're, we're selling the bidding war of 2024. Maybe. Maybe that's what that was. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to spill the beans that MJF uh, is signed. By the way, he's signed. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> in case in case you've been worked by MJF, I'm just I'm telling you right now. No, he absolutely is a com- he's a company man, <laughs> yeah, the but man as we have observed on the show, you know, la- last year there was a little bit of a bit where AEW was like hurting my feelings and wow. It's been really good lately and he <laughs> hasn't been here. Listen, so, uh... I we have said this I don't, we have said this, Katie, and listen, we're right, but I, I obviously, look, we all, listen, I'm Jeff clearly has a place in this company. The man's- an He's a huge He's talent. Excellent. Yeah, generational I talent. I just think he's like George Lucas, where he needs an editor, okay? Yes. We can't just let him off the leash to yes. make George or Binks up and down this company, yeah. all right? We, we need some people <laughs> to say no to him a couple more Yeah, times absolutely. Than they did last year. <laughs> Just a couple. So, uh, I went. Yes, Sean. I went. So I went back and pulled the list. Yes, no. Uh, Okada is uh, on the list in all caps. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I assumed Okada was because, because he's a little older. I, th- I was thinking like younger guys, but I mean, Hangman and Swerve are like thirty, so whatever. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It is also. I will say it is. <laughs> Jay White not being on there. Yeah. Also. <laughs> it's. Yeah. It's. This makes me wonder if that's his idea. Is he just t- like he's just like tired or no. something? Probably not, but I don't could think be. I mean, so, he's but... clearly gonna turn on everybody because I oh, just yeah. can't buy him as a glib good guy. Like no, it's he's... just yeah. so gross. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. It's weird. Every it's time weird. he says "bang bang scissor gang" with a smile on his face, I feel like he's about to stab all of them. Like it just. <laughs> is going... <laughs> Like, like I don't buy it even for a second. I, I, the way that I read, we can skip to this like for a second. After the Scissor Gang match, the way he cut that baby face promo was complete, right. f- completely ironically detached. It was yeah. He kept saying Greensboro over and over. It like was most, demented. Yeah, it was, it was really twisted. Funny. The way he's like. He's like, my favorite place in the world, Greensboro! Because it's like, partially... Cheering. Partially because it's his accent, but partially because he's just being a shithead. Yeah. Like, I yeah. was... It was I, yeah. He's it sounds like one of those training videos you get for that's like a stock training video for a company and they just dub in the name of your company. Just like, Absolutely. oh, this is a training for... <laughs> Firestone Corporation, and we're going to teach. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he felt like, like a doll mm-hmm. that you just switch the on switch on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So he probably is starting to heal. I, uh, you know, this isn't the time for this. I'll, I'll talk about Jay White next week. Uh, Up next, <laughs> yes, go we ahead. have Timeless Tony Storm, uh, defeated Diana Perazzo. They, they should have got more time. I, I agree. I. This was a fun show, Scramble. but once again, Tony mm-hmm. 
What mm-hmm. are we doing here? Okay. I I appreciate you getting my postcard and starting to fix the women's division, but what the fuck? <laughs> like, what are we mm-hmm. doing? How long did this match go? You have it up? Under 10 minutes, right? Like eight minutes or something? It's eight twelve minutes. fifteen, it says on here. Okay, that's longer than I thought. Jeez. Yeah, no, that and the fucking zero hour with Julia Hart needed to be on the actual card. They could have switched. Oh, you that. mean the women's exactly. champion? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you mean the women's champion? Well, yeah. yeah. She's in a t- well to be fair, she's injured, so she's doing tag stuff. Mm-hmm. I get to it, but like to- it was still like, good. Trying to be diplomatic. <laughs> yeah. No, you can tell because Sky Blue works um, that tag also, but yeah. I like, you know, obviously I love Diana. I'm so glad she's in the mix. And I love this thing with Mariah May showing up in the, the old school Tony that outfit. That was so because, fucking funny. Like, the single white female angle with her is like so good. She's very mm-hmm. funny. I really like mm-hmm. her. Um, yeah, we're big on Mariah. And yeah, both these women can wrestle, but I can't really say much about this match because they didn't even give them enough time to really cook. Yeah. I felt like it was rushed was and it was flat. like, it was Such sandwiched a in an yeah. impossible spot in this card. No, and I, w- I just. I will give Tony credit here. He did not put this after, like, the Osprey match or something. No, that would have been Brian match or something. Brutal. Which I was afraid he was going to do. He put it, what was it before this? Like, the scramble or something? Or the tag? Uh, No, uh, it was the, uh, yeah, it was the tag match. Okay, so this was a decent spot for it. Um, But, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's, this needed more, needed more juice. Yeah, like, it needed more juice. Um, yeah, it, but, I, like I said, it, I think it needed about five minutes because, yeah. like, they were they were wrestling, wrestling. Like it, uh, yeah. Tony's really gimmicking that uh, I'm wrestling the old way, and it, it took a while for them to get like the crowd also into this uh, this sort of uh, spectacle they were seeing. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it sucks because I loved the feud. This feud and these promos were, like, out of control good, and I'd been, like, waiting for this match, and then they, you know, pulled this, uh, they pulled this shit again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I kind of hope, I, I feel like Deanna deserves a rematch. Like, this is, like, a bullshit finish, honestly. Yeah. I feel Absolutely. like this feud should continue, yeah. so. But we got mm-hmm. Monet coming up, so we'll see what happens there. Um... Yeah, yeah. T- honestly, <laughs> Tony Storm in the scrum was better than this match was. Honestly, it was. She was so entertaining in the scrum, but uh, it is what it is. What was uh, what was before the, this? Oh, the tag match. Yeah, it yeah. was uh, Blackpool Combat Club. John Moxley and Claudio yeah. defeated FTR by this? technical submission. How long was this? Like twenty minutes. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-one fifty. They could have switched the. They could have switched. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Have to, I mean, mm-hmm. I get it. It's like FTR. Don't get me wrong. They're Moxley. like good wrestlers, yeah. but there was no stakes. Yeah, they didn't I mean, need to. There wasn't really like an investment, you know. They could have done mm-hmm. like a. You can always let Claudio yeah. smash. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you can always. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely. In more ways yeah. I mean, <laughs> I if you tell me Claudio <laughs> beats every single person he goes against, I'm just like, yeah, all right. <laughs> like, Honestly, Claudio's, Claudio should squash more people. Yeah, he's a savage. Yeah. He should just show up and uppercut people and beat them in, like, two minutes. Um, he's mm-hmm. just the strongest man in the world. <laughs> like, I think that, like, it's just mm-hmm. unbelievable. I It's Moxley and FTR. They're top guys, and so is Claudio, too. So I, I get it. This was good, too. But, like, it didn't have to... Didn't have, they could have switched this in the window. Could have been an email. No, I'm Compared kidding. to the rest <laughs> of the card, it's just not that important. It's not important. Yeah, yeah. It's not that yeah. important. So. Could have been zero. This could have been a collision. This could be yeah. a collision. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what was. Uh, um, Dax did bleed. I did call that. So, I'm glad that happened. You did call that. He got. <laughs> and he, he gigged himself Ooh, good. He was yeah. like. He was like gushing. It was yeah. gross. <laughs> I, I think after our likes getting beat up by Moxie and Claudio. Because after that Ring of Honor, remember the six man Ring of Honor? Yeah, Mark Briscoe. I think they like it. <laughs> I think they have a fetish for this. So definitely. Um, so before this was the scramble. No, oh, before no. this was Roddy beating oh, Orange Cassidy. This was by a really pinfall. good match. This was a, a really clean good match. finish. Yeah, there was no interference. It was just mm-hmm. Roddy and Orange Cassidy having a good wrestling match. And it was a good narrative yeah. because. 
it was like Orange Cassidy has just had his ass beat. So it's like he didn't lose because he wasn't good enough. He lost because he wasn't at his like full powers He's been or worn whatever. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Roddy, he gave him that sick backbreaker on the top buckle. Remember that? that was Roddy's fucking... like actually good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been saying for like, especially my friends who are new to watching wrestling. Yeah. Like, this is their first. They, they've just seen Roddy play this, you know, mustache character who yells. Right. And it's like, I'm like, like I have to explain to them, like, this guy's you like, have... amazing, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, you'll be unsurprised I was a huge, you know, yellow and black and NXT fan. Yeah. You know? Of course. Um, so out. it's hard. But I gotta say. So there were two boy reveals that night, right? We have Kyle Fletcher, and then at the end of this match, Kyle O'Reilly. My right? favorite day for Kyle's. Yeah, huge Kyle's day for Kyle's. Back. I love yeah. him, but here's the thing. Sorry, George. Kyle Brown. Fletcher wore a suit, and this Kyle looked like he came back from laundry day. Listen. <laughs> He's up with him. He's wearing basketball shorts and like a giant like bull Nakano t-shirt looking like he hasn't washed his hair. I'm like, did you know you were going to be on television tonight? I so Put some pants on! What's so crazy <laughs> is that like usually Katie is the one to like call people out on their fucking fit games on the show. But when Kyle O'Reilly came out, I was like, what the fuck? Why? I was like, why is he? No, like, yeah, I, I actually, I remember your exact word, your yes, exact Anna, words were, who Anna, let him come out like that? That's what I said. <laughs> that's usually what Katie says. But I said it. And I usually don't, yeah. I usually barely care. Trust me. But yeah, no, say it, who I love showed up. I was like, is he a corpse? Is he Ric Flair? What, who, is he, he had, had he not slept? His eyes were, like, dark? I'm like, yeah. Is he, like, he, don't get me wrong. Was he crying? Genuinely <laughs> excited to have him in the mix. Yeah. I, I think they're trying to do something here. Like, totally is he gonna try too. and drag Roddy yeah. away from the kingdom? Or, yeah. like, they're gonna, is he gonna be a good guy? Like, he you know, I like the, the call there. Yeah. yeah, I like yeah. the intrigue there, or maybe like when Adam's finally better, they're gonna bring the Undisputed Era back and kick all those guys out, but like, mm -hmm. uh, come on, man. I mean... Comb your hair. <laughs> so, <laughs> I... Now that I've, now that Although, I've stepped on it, I it think it was on defense. purpose. I, think that, I was to about to purpose. say, yeah, that's always been kind of his thing, where you're a little like... Bit. Yeah, a little bit. That he's always been kind of like scrappy, I guess, yeah. so... Whatever. I, I mean, um, yeah, having slept on it now, I feel like it had to have been on purpose. Because it's like... I hope. They all saw him. <laughs> like, he has real friends. It's not like he... Like, it's not like he doesn't have real friends. <laughs> like, those boys are his friends. friends. They wouldn't have not said something. So I think it must have been on purpose. Like, I don't <laughs> see a world where... Yeah. They just didn't tell Where him. he was sleeping in the back and missed his fucking call time. Yeah, like, that's, like, okay, you know... <laughs> No one's seen me in two years. Mm -hmm. I got. I, I had to ask a couple of my friends. I'm like, have you guys ever seen Kyle O'Reilly wrestle? Because some of them are so new, they haven't even mm -hmm. seen him. And it's like, no, they, a couple of my my homies have not even seen him. Which I'm like, oh, you're in for a treat. Because yeah, think about that goods. because uh, being a, I know AEW brought some many new people on, and I'm like, well, they don't even know who you are, like, yeah, you gotta you gotta like give some context, although. Just to briefly touch on commentary this evening. Was Taz upset? Like, why was he being such a pain in the dick the whole night? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he was, like, throwing a tantrum, I felt like. My he son was, was so bad. Brian Cage, but they put him in a freaking scramble. I don't know if that's my Taz impression. <laughs> he was... Uh, <laughs> well, he, he kept uh, like, complaining about smells. It was like, uh, because the, the, uh, the smoke machine got messed up and apparently it was leaking everywhere, so it was just... <laughs> <laughs> it was it was uh, it was not, it was fucked up by Jericho. Oh, was that where it started? In that yeah. match. Oh, okay. He spilled the juice every Okay, anyway. Oh, but okay. like Bomb juice. Anyway, I just Bomb was thing. thinking cuz like I was remembering during this when they brought Kyle out I'm like why they should give more context for him and I'm like mm -hmm. oh yeah, Taz was just throwing a tantrum. The whole yeah. Thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I, no, I'm but they should Taz because too. you know when I really think yeah, you know what? When I really think about it like uh but you didn't you like during the time in NXT when he was like super relevant? Didn't you have to have WWE Network and watch it on WWE Network? Yes. 
Right. Like that was that. Yeah, that was WWE Network era NXT. It was not on TV right. yet. Yeah. You know, um, but, you know, at any rate, my general comment about that whole thing is that AEW did the best possible job you could do of making Roderick Strong uh, interesting before you gave him a belt. Absolutely. Holy yeah. shit. I yeah. Agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. They need to heat this, this, uh, these, this group up. Well, all those guys, Undisputed, Kingdom Era. Uh, <laughs> going to now that Roddy's got the belt, though, because now he can go be a little shithead all the time. With a title, you know? and then mm-hmm. Wardlow will be the number one contender, and yeah. Uh, and Kyle yeah. O'Reilly adds intrigue as well. And I want to say here, if you've uh, never seen me talk about wrestling before, that uh, it is uh, my eternal opinion that Kyle O'Reilly is the best member of Undisputed Era. <laughs> it is my eternal opinion that he is better More than, than Adam? Adam? Yeah. Oh. I've always thought this. I've always thought this. That's, that's a crazy take. <laughs> is the most obviously charismatic and handsome. But I've always said Kyle is not just my personal favorite, but I think the best member. Number one with the bullet. Roddy's always had a place in my heart for that weird horny match he did in NXT where he would like, and they like showed that picture of him with the belt with his like hiding his dick. And then he had to like <laughs> uh, do that match with... Um, <laughs> Great night for the, me. The Tom yeah. of Finland guy. It was just, you know. Uh, <laughs> I remember this. Was this after I stopped watching? Or was this, I don't was this know. I was like, mm-hmm. yeah. No, uh, I was certainly watching NXT at that point. Yeah. <laughs> did he have to hide so. his erect? Oh, you know what? Never mind. What, what is it? What is it? Uh, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so Orange uh, Cassidy, what's next for him? Who knows? We'll see. Um, justice for OC. Hopefully, he can take a nap first. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah then, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Working champion, truly. people. Working man. True. Uh, mm-hmm. Is this right up now? next? The, the match that nobody asked for. Wardlow defeated Chris Jericho, Powerhouse Hobbs, Lance Archer with Jake the Snake, Hook, Brian Cage, Magnus, and uh, Martin. Dante Martin. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was cool to see some of these guys in the mix, but like. Yeah, I was really annoyed about Jericho in this mix. They clearly did some sequences that was from the what this match was originally intended to be with all the big boys. I do love any time Hook tries to fight someone enormous. It yeah. does. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, I love the CMLL guys that they're bringing them in. I want more of that because I'm a lucha mark. Um, but this match didn't need to happen. There's yeah, this no was, reason. Uh... Definitely easily the worst thing on the show, I would say. But, um... Yeah. That being said... Uh, oh, what's up with Dante Martin? Can we talk about that? Well, what happened? What do you mean? He botched, like, five times. I think uh, we got the yips. Yeah, I... Because um, he's good. I'm not saying he's not good, but I was, like, worried about him. I think like, there was too many people in this match. He, he got mm-hmm. lost twice, that I remember. Yeah. Um, I, I I will say that too because I went back and before uh, we you know we started this I you know try to you know quickly watch every match really fast and yeah there's a there's a one there's a whole split second where he just he's looking around to yeah. where does he go to his next spot he was looking for and that's not his fault yeah. honestly yeah. like yeah no that makes sense yeah I mean this was so I'm, we got downgraded we had meat madness and we lost it because. I don't know why exactly, but we don't have it anymore. So we'll I can't later. wait to find out what Miro's deal is <laughs> in like three years <laughs> when yeah. the tell-all comes out. Because yes. clearly, I suspect he has up. something to do with this. But <laughs> he, he, well, there's 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 definitely a pushback from him. Like anybody who calls him out online, he's like, no, don't believe the dirt sheets. <laughs> Well, you know what would make me not believe him, Miro? If you showed up to work and lost the match every now and then, buddy. Why don't you put over Daniel Garcia? Or do something. I, what, what, this man just he works once every four months and never loses. What am I supposed to think, Miro? Anyway. And he only um, shows up to get cucked by his wife in public television. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? It's his fetish. He loves it. Um, he loves that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's a company guy. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, I thought... I, there wasn't time for this, but I realized how much more I would have enjoyed this if it was elimination style. Because you could have yeah. cleared up the clutter. Also, you could have told a True. story. You could have had Hobbs like eliminate four people, and then like have it come down like him and Wardlow and Jericho or whatever, and then do whatever you're gonna do from there. 
But they didn't have time for that. Yeah. So whatever. Um, we got here. Wardlow's the number contender. That's the whole point of all this. I thought Hobbs Which was is great, like actually, but yeah. Yeah. Um. Um. Magnus I will say, <laughs> at some point during this match, uh, Taz was like, "Oh, I still got the lawsuit clearing," which I definitely thought was funny in regards <laughs> to Powerhouse Hobbs. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe team Taz. Oh, yeah, and this match is where Jericho does something with the smoke machine, and you just see the camera suddenly cut, and you just see the smoke machine liquid pouring out everywhere, and I think he was just trying to do something that he didn't talk to anyone about again. <laughs> um, and I was God just like, it, what, are we, what are we doing, bro? Yeah. Um, Got an idea for also... farm juice! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll yeah. also point out, uh, they need a... They need a... You know, uh, protect Jake Roberts a little bit. He almost got flambo uh, flamboyed on the uh, on the ring. Yeah, like, on the entrance. I didn't see. I love really? Jake Christ. Roberts with Lance Archer. I think they're probably buddies in real life, and like I like that DDP has this program where he gets all his high risk friends jobs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like when you bring the old timers out, you gotta. Pay attention. <laughs> I don't want to watch an old man die on TV. Like I love the interaction between Hook and Wardlow because they're two really protected guys. I thought that was interesting. And I do think Lance mm. Archer is one of the most underutilized people in AEW history. Like, this guy... True. He's the best big man they've ever had, and they never... I wonder... <laughs> I mean, I don't, I didn't even realize he was, like, Except fully Brody with Lee. the Brody company. Better, but, yeah. Yeah, right. You know, yeah, man. He has here. like yeah. honestly, like he's got one of my favorite entrances in wrestling because yeah. I didn't know I, I I didn't know about him until AEW, and I'm like, this guy throws an intern every week. That's incredible. Bro, like he just he yes. just out here yeeting interns. Yeah. Fucking... I uh I saw him at um a show here once, and I I went to like go get a beer or something, and he was just in the t-shirt area, and he is. Hands down, the largest human being I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, like he is so. I can't like my because you see them in the ring and you're like, that's a big dude. But seeing him like you know Next three feet people. away from me, I'm yeah. like, that is the most enormous man I have ever seen. And yeah. he wrestled in Japan for so long. I'm like, where did you go to the bathroom? Like <laughs> I just. <laughs> that shit's crazy to yeah. me. Lance so yeah, Archer, I agree. I'm I'm a big Lance Archer fan. I would well, love to see him. Him more. showing up with like, the entrance where he comes with a guy whose ass he already kicked is was the perfect gimmick. It was so like it's like you could watch show this to anybody. <laughs> this you can introduce anyone into wrestling this way. It's like oh yeah, this guy he shows up. He already beat up a guy in the back. That's how cool he is, and that's it was perfect. So uh, I I can't exactly speak for him, but uh, uh, he. He did an interview with uh, Russell Pierce, and apparently, I think he seems fine with his position. Like, so he just like, "Hey, I show up, I look cool, I earn yeah. my check, and then I can do whatever." He is like an old, but, like he's been around the block for a while, so he yes. might just be fine, you yeah, know. Like, kind of how like Big Bill is like happy to mid card for the rest of his life, you know. Sure. It's like some people just are happy where they're at, and yeah. I respect that. I and you don't want to mess with that at all. Stokely yeah. used to say that about being in WWE. He was just like, I collect every a check every week and sit on my ass. This rules. <laughs> this is my dream. <laughs> yeah, I mean it makes sense. Uh. So, uh, what was pre the- because the rest of the show is pretty fire. <laughs> Kingston, uh, Daniel Bryanson. Wait, that- that was before the scram? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck. They- they- they did that out the gate. Um. That's fucking- Yeah, nice. I mean, this was great. I got emotional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> he shook his hand! Ah! I love an Eddie three belts. Yeah, yeah. Shawna can attest that as soon as uh, Eddie hit the power bomb, I started screaming at my computer. <laughs> I was yelling, "Shake that man's hand, Danielson! You shake that man's hand like a maniac!" I lost. I was losing it. I was. I'm not gonna lie. I had a. I, I had a moment. <laughs> That's where I was if I yeah. ever. Get close enough up to the front row to get a sign on TV. I'm making that Eddie as Guts from Berserk poster because the man <laughs> truly has gone through trials and tribulations. Yeah, and if you, 
Um, the the AEW they've uploaded on YouTube all the post show interviews, and Daniel Garcia's is really good. Obviously, they're all good, but you gotta watch Daniel. Sinner you gotta Eddie watch Kingston. it. It's, it's like I got I got emotional like the second <laughs> time. It's, it's he finally got the respect. That's all that matters in this <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted the respect of the boys, you know. The, the boys! boys! That's the legacy <laughs> that carries through all the generations and all that, you know. So for all that, you know, what you did for me, Dragon, really means a lot. And then Brian Dalesen just goes, and you fucking earned it, man. And I, I did tear up. I was like, fuck, <laughs> damn it! Mm -hmm. Fuck, dude. Me too. Uh, me too. Dales well, is especially a better person Dan now. He's like, he's a better yeah. person after Danielson's <laughs> post- they, like, once again, to go back to Hannah's point about this show being about men's mental health, he's like, I changed yeah. for the better, and I've grown. <laughs> it's like, he's like crazy. Is that <laughs> I lost the match, but, you know, I... Uh, but I but I gained respect for my <laughs> friend, Eddie Kingston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he turns what? face because he lost. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. he's like a full... He literally... Player. He literally was like... I gave him constructive feedback, and then he improved, and then I respected that, and now I improve. Yeah. Healthy masculinity. <laughs> Both of these men have been to therapy, clearly. Yeah. yeah. yeah I... Now, be a little bit toxic, Danielson, and don't raise your daughter. Stay wrestling where I want you. <laughs> Yeah, be a toxic father, but a great man. Uh, yeah. A great wrestler and a great man. Look at who else is being a toxic father and having the run of a lifetime. Maybe look <laughs> into that. Holding my last breath. Before we get to that, though, I just want to yeah. say that this match was everything that I want in pro wrestling. And I mean that, like, I think the Oscar to catch match was the best thing on the show. The Sting match Obviously. was a moment in time. Important. And all that. Yeah. But this match was just everything that I personally love about watching mm -hmm. pro wrestling. That I really feel like you don't, you can't get this in other places. Not in this way. No. Like, I love anime. I love martial arts movies. They all have their fun fighting and shit in them or whatever. Uh, but like, just like Eddie Kingston having like one arm and just pot, fucking slapping Danielson fucking with his bad hand. It's just, I... I just, it doesn't make me, I don't feel the same way. I know. As, you know, I mean, all, I will say all my punching and all for one, saying he put his back into it, you know, that's great stuff, but it's not, it's not as human. <laughs> I don't relate to all my doing that. I relate oh, to yeah. Eddie Kingston yeah. with his one hand being like, fuck you, I'm still going to win. <laughs> I'm going to win with one arm, Danielson. <laughs> I, I just, know. I was yeah. like, it's like one of those like, dude dudes are cool moment where I'm just like, this is what they write rock ballads about. Like, <laughs> yes. I just, dude like, cool, like yeah. dudes yeah. rock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like watching this and I'm like, I get, I get guitar solos now and crying <laughs> at baseball. Like, it's just <laughs> like yeah. all these things. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, uh, it was so good. And just in terms one. of like emotional stakes and athleticism, it was just like, like, yeah, I don't know. I I feel that uh, you know they uh, AEW should put some of the uh, some of Eddie Kingston stuff out for the Emmys uh, consideration. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those YouTube absolutely promos, <laughs> those Instagram promos and shit that he cuts out. Yeah, where he yells at the crazy. Ring light or whatever. He's yeah. a dream voice actor for like my shit, like for Kate guy. I would I would love oh, for him to be God. Kate's bunker That'd because be it's already Kate's bunker praxis that anyone with. One of those accents is a, is an alien, so uh, we need to <laughs> <laughs> we need him on. <laughs> who did not? Who didn't? Uh, you had Nyla Rose on, right? Who did, who did Nyla Rose play that one time? Was it? Oh, Nyla Rose played a sleep paralysis demon, That's um, and okay. she did a completely uh, unique voice. And oh, yeah, I got too sweaty talking about this, so I have to take my sweatshirt <laughs> off. The podcast sweats, as they're known to be. <laughs> Dude, I'm I get them so bad. I'm back, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Nyla Rose played a sleep paralysis demon. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, we had many wrestlers on the Kate's Bunker, included Nyla Rose, uh, Billy Dixon as the alien spider queen. Uh, we had uh, Shug D as uh, Marlon Reed, the spiritual IT employee from Atlanta with a uh, friendship bracelet business. 
Um, we CPA played a baseball podcaster that our fake Joe Rogan was fighting with. It's a you know not to, not to plug my show in the middle of this, but it was uh, crazy. I can't believe it ever happened. CPA was our, <laughs> Absolutely, was our I hope, yeah. I hope he's doing okay. Anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope he's eating enough. Um. Anyway, uh, so uh, yeah. Anything else to add about Eddie and Brian besides that it was perfect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so I guess this brings us to the opener, the, right? The, um... Right, which was Kristen Cage uh, and defeated Daniel Garcia. Yeah. yeah, sorry, my brain is falling no, apart right yeah, now. Yeah, no, it's Daniel Garcia. <laughs> um, um, I, I like this so match. Glad... I thought it was very good. Yeah. yeah. Glad um, Danny's getting put over. Um, I'm tickled every time when the whole fam comes out. It's really demented. <laughs> <laughs> it's so That's a weird. perfect way to put it, Katie. Yeah, it's, it's it's especially when Nick Wayne's wearing the like Christian, Christian is my, my dad is my father. Like that's yeah. And then the whole reason he's going after Danny is like your dad's dead. He's like, I know, I'm gonna put you in the grave with him, bitch. And I'm like, great. Yeah. I want more Garcia all the time. This is fun. I look forward to this vibe moving forward. Yeah. Garcia, future ace of this company. That, so one thing that you can say about Tony Khan is that he will actually throw younger people bones and shit and yeah. do a good job. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Always has. That's why Eddie Kingston's even on this at all. True. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I... And also, I know she's not back yet, but that's why we got people like Jamie Hayter, who... <laughs> Well, yeah. back, my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, if Kristen is younger, not that Eddie Kingston's younger, mm -hmm. but like on the indies and poor. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he gives unique people a chance that yeah, other exactly. Major sure. programs might not. Totally. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Sean. Yeah. Oh no, I was just going to say yeah. Uh, speaking of Jamie Hayter, it's just like yeah, those Brits always hiding their injuries from us. <laughs> They do keep that shit under wraps. You know what? I respect it. It's fine. I'm not gonna pry, but it's because they're carnies, you yeah, know. Because they like they start training for wrestling when they're like two, and yeah. I, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. and it's a weird combination of that English repression and also like just brute force workhorse mentality. Yeah, you know? like a lot of the episodes of NXT UK actually took place outdoors under a tent. That's how much carnies they were. I I was one of the four people who regularly watched NXT UK, and uh, it was in a tent in the mud so many times. There was a, there was multiple times where they brought them outside and fought in in mud in Scotland. I Fucking carnies. And that's why I loved it. That's why I loved it. That's why I gave it my time. You could hear children uh, throwing the rings over the... I had a game nearby. <laughs> it's like border collies get involved because there's fucking shepherding shit happening next door. Like, that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I just hope Jamie's back for Wembley, obviously. I mean, I, I want to be back as soon as possible, but definitely for Wembley. Yeah. Speaking of uh, Brits hiding their injuries, we also got another return on the show. Somebody who Katie texted me is the most underrated wrestler of all time, and I cannot disagree. It's the Bastard Pack. He's coming Listen, back. <laughs> I have been asking for months, where did he go? Because I love him. Yeah. He is crazy athletic, and he is the most kayfabe motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> and he fully commits, and I want to see this demented, like, you know, I've gone... He. A lot of people have tried to done like I've gone crazy on this show, but I believe he can fully do this. You know yeah. what I mean? And when Hangman goes crazy and he's running around the rafters, he better watch out because Pac's gonna be back there eating rats. You know what I mean? Like he <laughs> he is nuts and he's so crazy talented. And I don't I honestly don't know where he was like i know the first time is because he had a dragon gate obligation but like where was he was he with kyle fletcher and the visa office like i i'm so glad he's coming back yeah so far as i know it's been a lot of visa stuff also probably injuries though it's hard to say but yeah no it's definitely it was definitely like a, a minor uh minor injury he's been rehabbing uh but personally i'm like you know what i don't know what his relationship is but i want the you know, the Lucha Bros to hook him up with one of their cousins so he could come live, you know, you know, nearby. Yeah, 
can I also ask Sean, and I don't know if you're, you know, uh, prepared to answer this, but do we know what's going on with Phoenix? Is Phoenix coming back? Is he hurt? So, so yeah, no, Phoenix will be physically ready by Cinco de Mayo. Oh, okay. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You heard it here but he, first, he, I guess. Uh, like that's what, yeah, they're, that's their, uh, speculation that he'll, uh, he'd be ready by then. Uh, he will be at hog with, uh, uh with Penta. Well, there you go. And that means. Man, ho hog back. always impresses me the who they loop into showing up because <laughs> I say this with love and affection, but those are some truly regional shows. Okay. Yeah. I've, I have, I have <laughs> been to some house of glory shows and places where I'm like, do they know wrestling's about to happen? Like, are we here on purpose? Um, Wildly enough. The only time I've seen Lucha brothers live was at a house of glory show, uh, pre pandemic, but that's the only yeah. place. Yeah. <laughs> In the early days, I remember they cut that promo under the BQE. So like, you know what? <laughs> They're out yeah. here. <laughs> like, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, I, I will. I will say I'll, I'll grab. I'll throw one more thing. So I will shout out former uh, AEW wrestler uh, Santana. Santana will be facing Penta for the uh, title, also at House of Glory. Oh, he's so good. Nice. I why love does, him. Why did Santana have to leave, man? <laughs> why do you have to go? <laughs> why I you hurt go, my Santana? feelings? Why? Why? I hurt my this? feelings. <laughs> I know something happened, and I'm not going to pretend uh, to understand what, but. I'm we could work you. this out. <laughs> we could work this out. Miss like, you. Could not. Could not. Could something have not been worked out? Uh, it's, but I, I don't know. You know. One day I'll learn what happened. I. You sad. know. I will say from life experience <laughs> that friendship breakups hurt more than romantic ones, and I can only imagine that's heightened when you're a wrestler and you're a Dominican from the Bronx. Yeah, so yeah. like, I it's mean, just mad emotional. <laughs> like, yeah. It's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Yeah, as a, as a comedian, I am an expert in friendship breakups because I have to do it every <laughs> single time I find out someone was themselves. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I've had like a million of them in like the last like two months. Seriously, it's been back to I'm back, so and it was funny. I was I was talking to my partner. I was just like, man, why do I keep like my friends? I have to keep like they're dropping like fries. And he's like, how many of these people are comedians? And I just sat there. Well, one, two, three. But fuck, it's all of them for right now. I'm like, I'm like, oh, not a comedian, but I met them at the creek. <laughs> Fucking shit. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Lawson and I know it's fine. Yeah. 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 We've yeah. all been there. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. Not like any, uh, you know, any buddy I ever used to look up to uh, decided to buy in on uh, the right wing uh, grifting gig. Anyway. Um, Woo. <laughs> that was AW. I mean, we, the, so there was like a tag. There was stuff on the pre-show that we alluded to, but essentially, Willow beat Sky Blue, uh, or one of them beat Sky Blue. Yeah, I think it was Willow. Uh, so, yeah, maybe with the power bomb, I think. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, we got a good Julia Hart entrance. We love good Julia Hart entrance. There's only that. Well, those are the only kind of Julia Hart entrances. They're all good, but all good. you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know why Chris Statlander ever loses a match. I think it's bullshit. But I will say. Uh, Willow for TBS champion, do it. Yeah, do it. Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. let, Always let, thought let that. Heal up. She'll, Always. She'll, she'll win it back. She's like twenty. <laughs> let her heal yeah. up. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, the Scissor Gang. I don't know what's going on with them. Jay White's clearly uh, plotting something. Max yeah. Caster's got the yips now, so that's part of that. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. In kayfabe. We though. believe in you, Max. Yeah. It's, we, we, we believe in you, buddy. Uh, but yeah, that was AEW Revolution. Overall, I'd give the show an A. It fucking yeah. ruled. It was excellent. Definitely. Holiday. Great. One of the best pay reviews of all time. Uh, a. A's. A's all around. A's, A's all around. Yeah. A's all around. Definitely. Uh, Dynasty is in I, April. I, yeah, it's good, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't, like, mad this pay-per-view. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing hurt <laughs> my feelings. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I have... I thought the Young Bucks were going to win, but when Sting won, I was like, ah, this is perfect. So. <laughs> and, yeah. All we needed for usual uh, longer women's match. Yes. You know? Yes. 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 That's about it. Yeah. And Mercedes is coming well. in. Get on that shit, Tony. Um, 
But yeah, can't wait. Every, 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 I can't wait. Everything's in order. Wig. <laughs> I can't wait. Er, er, everything's in order. They they got her. They got her crew. Her click all in position oh, of power. Yeah, that lady gonna... who got that new job, right? I forget her name, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, Jen- uh, Ms. Jennifer Pepperson, uh, Pepperton. Uh, Jennifer Pepperson. Uh, she is a former writer for WWE and apparently one of uh, uh, Mercedes' favorite people. So big ally, big ally for her. Um, so yeah, all's well that continues to go well. We have lost <laughs> Sting to the annals of time, but we will have gained a Mercedes and an Okada and an Osprey. So things are looking up. I mean, <laughs> honestly. And a rolled out of bed, Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, before we sign here, uh, Hannah, you would you like to do plugs? Anything you want to plug here? Aforementioned ridiculous fake podcast, uh, Kate's Bunker, featuring many pro wrestling talent as uh, voice actors, is on all podcasts. Season one is on all podcast platforms and Audible. Uh, memoir podcast, uh, currently on hold. I haven't heard that name in years. All podcast platforms and Audible. And, uh, of course, Brooklyn Battle Comedy on IWTV. Uh, most people probably already know this. I did write that thing, though. It was pretty cool. Everybody came up with the story. Everyone <laughs> came up with the story. The whole group came up with the story. And I, I shook those group texts until they became a script. Um, <laughs> and uh, and then, uh, yeah, Park It's Hannah, all social media platforms. You get to watch me act. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you totally do. Acting is reacting. And mostly it's me laughing mm-hmm. at whatever the fuck Benel was going on about. Uh, mm-hmm. Sean, mm-hmm. would you anything you want to put out there, sir? Into the- uh, mainly just uh, plugging the the mini podcast in the Lawson universe. Uh, so uh, listen to uh, Fallen Out Super. Uh, listen to Talk Naruto. Yeah. Listen to this great show, as well as join all the po- all the Patreons. Get <laughs> get these people paid. All of our Patreons. The, 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 that, that do a Patreon with uh, Hannah with Yu-Gi-Oh! for Bone Out Super. Talking Naruto. Yeah, the Paywalled Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. The yeah. best <laughs> Paywalled Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. We know. We took a survey. Uh, then there's me and Benel on one. Me and Sean talk about Food Wars behind Naruto. You want to hear about Food Wars? Yeah. I watched that shit. It fucking ruled. And um, if you want to hear about Dolph Ziggler's <laughs> acting chops, <laughs> yeah. please... Consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash happy wrestling. Yeah. Where me and Lawson are currently exploring the WWE straight to streaming cinematic universe. It's incredible. So we did the Moxley 12 Rounds 3 lockdown. We've done Dolph Ziggler's countdown. Uh, yes. And coming soon, Hunter Hearst Helmsley Chaperone, everybody. So keep an ear out for The that. original. And in addition to that, Lawson is posting his lifetime of what I would like to call wrestling AMVs. They are. Uh, that is what they are. They're wrestling AMVs. <laughs> That's exactly what they are. The match highlights. I got too many of them. I made a lot of them. And they're all going yeah. up there. <laughs> so check them out. So uh, get on back get on there, yeah. friends. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. And uh, that's it for here with us uh, as every week. We'll see you next time. And until then, everybody, happy wrestling! Happy wrestling! Happy wrestling! Happy wrestling!